well before I crack on with the first of my Traxxas uh, UDR upgrades I am a, a fan of the, the phrase if it ain't broke don't fix it I would say just thought I'd give people a quick scan around as I had no need to take the uh, body off the UDR until now and so I've not looked under the skin on that you still can't access an awful lot because I'm guessing you've got to remove the drivers uh, to get some goodies underneath but as I say if it ain't broke don't fix it anyway do pay attention to this video as there is an element to it that will save you a lot of time in getting things wrong. And if you do like it, then please do consider subscribing. Anyway, let's get on with that fix. Good morning, folks. Richie from Drifter Max here, and this is my Traxxas UDR upgrade. Well, I say upgrade, it's more out of necessity than anything else. It's the very first part that's broken on the car is one that Steve O'D told me would break, which is this rear trailing arm here, which is supposed to be connected to this broken bit. Zooming in that in just one second. So, Steve telling me that would be the first bit that broke with such conviction, I believed him. So, I ordered these $25 aluminum rear trailing arms uh, from eBay the same day I got the truck so I've just been waiting for those to come almost waiting for that part to broke sure enough the first thing that broke as he said was the rear trailing arm so this is my bargain $25 Traxxas UDR upgrade because personally looking at the quality of these things check those out on there if somebody had quoted me $65, $75 on there I would have gone yeah, okay, sounds about right. 25, absolute bargain. I will put a link to them below the video, uh, where I got them from on eBay, and you can buy them in all sorts of different anodized uh, colors. Anyway, let's have a look at a problem and a solution. Okay, well the problem we got is this very clear break in the rear suspension arm on here. Uh, the truck, despite getting some really big air, didn't break from a hard landing like that. It took some shock that away on the tyre and I think it's that lateral movement of snapping it down rather than a compression uh, fracture on there. It's the lateral movement that's actually bust the thing on there. And by the way, there is oil leaking out of the diff case. Anybody who's got any idea what that is, should I worry about it, then please do say it in the comment section below this video. Anyway, on to our $25 fix and if you like this $25 fix then please do subscribe for many more great videos this coming summer. Right, the first thing to do is to release the bodywork. Now sadly my UDR has actually pulled through the plastic on both of these sides so I'm going to have to come up with a fix at some point for that in the uh, future but that gives me access to this little screw here which is key in removing the uh, front end of the rear trailing uh, shaft on there. I'm going to take the wheel off to get easy access to the back. Okay, the first thing there is to remove that wheel nut. Now, don't think like I did, you're gonna need a big hex in order to get that thing off, because if you look down inside, the actual wheel, although it looks larger with this flange around the outside, this doesn't turn at all, spot the plastic wheel. The real wheel nut is tucked away down in the middle there. Indeed, it's this wrench that came with the car that you wanna use, blind in the obvious, but not so obvious, so I thought I'd mention it. Okay, once you remove that wheel nut, got a wiggling, jiggling, that wheel comes off, but not safely on the side there. That can then gives you plenty of access to this top joint and to the rear joint. So for clarity, you want to be undoing this screw and fairly obviously at this end, this screw. Okay, thought occurs to me in future, if you want to have the need to undo this a lot or you want to get easy access to it without having to take the body uh, off at all, you could simply drill a hole through the body and through this plastic thing, giving you easy access to the hex. Okay, the uh, screw removed at rear, that's simply going to take out of there and the same at the front. I would point out at this point, you need to undo these two screws which are connected to the two rear shocks on there. Okay, something about the fitment of these trailing arms. If you want to save time and uh, energy on this one, guys, follow this tip. Not only do these grooves need to be upright, when you fit the trailing arm, these little indentations for the screw need to be on the outside. So if you're looking at it, and it's that way, and you've got it on this, on this, on the outside edge, that's the wrong way around. You need those little indentations facing outwards on each of the arms and the grooves facing upwards in order that the shocks can go back in the okay, groove. If all has gone to plan, you've got your two screws back in and your shocks are engaged. The right hand one much easier to line up than the left hand one. Now all I've got to do is put this screw in the rear to reconnect. So that's the first half of my uh, Traxxas UDR upgrade done. So I've just got the other suspension arm to fit on there. This is one of the only upgrades to any RC car that I would recommend doing before it breaks. 
Um, I'm, I'm definitely a fan of waiting for things to break and then replace them and not waste the money on stuff that doesn't necessarily need to break. But Steve O'Day said on day one, Rich, this is going to break. And he said it was such conviction, I did listen to him and he was right. So what I'd suggest, 25 bucks, save yourself some auto, replace these early on. This is probably on about 10 minute job uh, if you follow instructions on this video at best. Well worth doing in advance of it busting. Okay, same thing on the other side. I'm going to replace this one, even though it's not busted. It will look fairly stupid driving around with one red, one black. So I'm going to get the wheel off. They're exactly the same on this with side. With all four screws undone, the front and the rear on that. That simply pulls off of that. And then when fitting this shaft, again, make sure these indentations are towards the outside and all of those holes are facing upwards. Fit this end on first then the two shocks, then the rear. Well, I've now I just timed it how fast that one on the top was to do. Much easier to uh, get this uh, the shot with a spring in on this side than it was the other side. So not sure what the problem was there. Anyway, two minutes, 45 seconds, start to finish to reinstall that. So there we have it, my first Traxxas UDR upgrade. Fit the $25 aluminum rear trailing arms. Very, very easy job to do, uh, as long as you pay careful attention to orientation that I mentioned in the video, I would think you can have this job done in under 10 minutes. So if it's taking longer than that, something's maybe amiss. So uh, do watch the video, do pay attention, and I hope that does help anyone, uh, and I hope that helps people out there. Anyway, if you did find that of use, then please do consider subscribing. Hope it was of help. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the circle image to subscribe. And if you hit subscribe, then don't forget to hit that little notifications bell next to